Creatures of the streams here in the Cape. I mean, they're these beautiful fish with like glowing red fins, and um, they really are the spirits of these mountains to me. Younger, not that I'm old now, but <laughs> when I was younger than I am now, I used to spend a lot of time scuttling around the mountains looking for good places to go fishing and couldn't help noticing small fish shoaling in the, in the pools and uh, didn't really take much notice of them until I put my head underwater with some goggles on and, and I was just amazed by their bright red fins and that's the first time you know, I, ever, I ever saw a red fin. <laughs> sad when I think about the fact that these fish once were so widespread in the Cape and now have disappeared from almost all the rivers. The number one reason behind that is invasions by introduced predatory fish like bass and trout that have really just gobbled their way through our natural fish populations in a very, very short space of time. Now all that stands between the remaining populations and these invasive fish are physical barriers like waterfalls and weirs. To me it's absolutely essential that we do everything we can to, to keep those barriers in place.
able to come down to some of these rivers, put their heads underwater and witness these beautiful fish in their natural environment. Oh, oh, oh.